I swear to God, the lights make me look so ugly. For real. It washes me out so much. Like, look, this compared to this. Yeah. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't want to hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm really gonna ball. Sorry, I'm trying to log into Netflix, but it's not working. What the fuck? Um, so today I'm going to be recreating this makeup look because I posted that photo a while ago But to this day a lot of you guys DM me questions on that makeup look So I'm just gonna talk about it here and now except there's gonna be a little changes here and there Because I really want to show you guys these makeup items that was sent to me recently They are from the brand Necker They sent me three lip products that are so pretty This face mist Sorry if there's any like lighting problems throughout this video Uh and I also got this face cushion. Um, this isn't really a first impression because I gave this a go for about a week and a half now. No, not a week and a half. Maybe like four, five, four, three days um, to make sure I really liked it, to make sure that I didn't get any bad reactions. But before we put this on, I'm going to be going in with the serum mist that I also tried before. I used to use the MAC Studio Fix Spray but I just did not like it because it has little glitter bits in it and um, for me who has acne from time to time, the glitter bits can really accentuate your bumps and your acne. Glitter free, I believe it's just like oil based because I can literally see it. And my favorite part was that the mist is really fine. Do you see that? You probably can't even see it because it's so fine. And it just leaves this really dewy finish. Okay, so then I'm going to be going in with the cushion foundation that they also sent me. This is in the shade 23. This is a sister brand of Happy Christine, who often sends me contacts. And this is sold by STHSW, which is a Korean fashion online store. So they have a lot of clothing items as well, um, and they just launched their new makeup line. It has a medium coverage, which is something that I personally prefer with any foundation that I use because it's always buildable, but you can just work around that. Anyways, I'm turning 18 this month, September 28th, and I'm actually getting two tattoos. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited because I feel like it's like the coolest way to express yourself. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys probably have seen what I wanted because it has been on my Instagram poll. I wasn't really sure which one to get, so I posted an Instagram poll to make my decisions. I'm literally so indecisive I need the public eye to choose anything for me. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys should totally do that because I post a lot of Instagram polls where you can control my life. For this 18th birthday, I was originally planning on throwing a little party, but I'm obviously not going to do that because of corona but i still wanted to have a little little celebration with two of my closest friends and i totally understand that corona is going on and i just want to respect that so i'm just gonna have a very tiny one with just two of my friends by the way i also switched to online learning recently on the second day of school i literally went to the office and told my assistant principal that i needed to switch to online because i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about this but Schools are literally crazy right now. I don't understand how they think they're gonna make this work. They literally squished like 34 kids into a classroom. No social distancing whatsoever. At lunch, all the kids crowd around and they're all sharing stuff as well. In my bio class, there was 34 kids. So I felt so uncomfortable and everyone was just like talking. I just did not understand their logic. So I just had to switch to online. So me and my friends have been, this isn't a recent plan. We've been planning this since like junior high. I to travel somewhere after graduation. Currently we're thinking of New York and Paris and I've been saving up y'all. I'm ready to go. So hopefully COVID will be down by then. Now I'm going to be going in with some powder and just be setting my face. Cause I don't really like my skin to look too glowy, but I don't want it to look too matte either. Do you see how it's like, like semi-matte, semi-glowy? Today's look is more of a really tan goddess type of look. Low-key, dark, grunge, emo, not emo, but alt kind of 
type of look. We're gonna be going in with our contouring product. This is a cool tone and this is a warm tone contour. What that means is that this can be used as like a blush, whereas this is like gray undertone, so it's not really suitable for blush. Today we're gonna be using this. I'm going to work it around my cheeks. Anyways, now we're going with this. The contour of my jawline. And about my tattoos. What did I even say about my birthday? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging my whole day. I feel like a lot of people aren't really interested in my vlogs, but I like to film anyways because I feel like my videos, I don't really do it to like gain attention or anything. Like I really don't care about clout. I just think it would be like the coolest way to like, look back in a couple of years. So what am I gonna get tattooed? I have two tattoo ideas and I'm gonna get both. So I want a little D right over here with red ink and then i also want a word tattoo on my inner arm i don't know what word exactly but i do know that i'm gonna get the same font as my wrist tattoo i either want dreamy or euphoria or fear going on to the eyes i remember using the same contour palette but i like to go in with this one on my eyelids i feel like it shows better And then I'm going to be going in with the Modern Renaissance palette, taking the Blonde Fresco shade. It's like this purplish gray. I'm just going to be applying this all over my lids as well. Before we go on to the lashes and the contacts, I always love to contour my nose first because I like it to just kind of blend right in. Contour shades. And then I just kind of blend it into my eyebrows as well as into the eyelids. Before we pop on the lashes, I'm going to be putting in contacts and I'll be right back. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. The photo I was wearing black eyeliner, but I just can't find where the fuck it went. So here we are. First of all, I like to just create a thin line across the whole lid. But there's also times where I don't do this step and I just draw the wing. I don't force a line. I just kind of put my brush tip of my eye and just follow the natural curve of my eye socket. My tip for you would be to just follow your natural eye curve. Bring the eyeliner a little bit. Alright, we're going in with the E08. Lashes from AliExpress. I'll leave them in the description box below. And while my lashes are drying, I'm going to be applying blush. And in the photo, my blush was heavily done. And I was using the blush shade in Chai from Laura Mercier. And I was also using this blush. This is the Clinique Cheap Pop in 05. I'm going to go in with the lighter one first. I just kind of apply this everywhere and I like to focus it like right over here Guys, this is what I'm talking about with the ring lights in person the blush I can totally see it and I can see all my contours But on camera you kind of can't because it washes me out so much So hopefully in the intro I got some footage without the lighting um, So you guys can actually tell what I was doing I'm going with Kush Mascara from Milk it's really clumpy on your lashes, I must say, but that is why I love to put that on for my lower lashes. Damn, should I be saying this? This is like my little secret. Um, ew, I can't believe I just did that. But I take tweezers and I kind of pinch them on purpose. It's really clumpy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But also, for the lips now, I'm going to be trying out these lip colors for you guys. I never tried these on my lips, actually. I just did a little swatch on my wrist. So I'm going to be swatching these for you guys on my hand, and I'll only use one of them today. So first up, we have the Sponge Beige. It's a really moussey, creamy. I love this one. And then next up, we got the Crop Orange. This is a really bright orange shade. Um, and then next up, we have Blur Rose. This is more of a magenta type of darker, rosy shade, and I love this one as well. And once again, you guys can use this code to save some money if you guys are interested. I'm going to apply a little bit of this. 
I'm actually going to be applying this lip color 570 in Toasted Truffle um, from L'Oreal, I believe, from Maybelline, my apologies. And then I'm going to kind of top this into the inner area. And I think that's about it for the look. Yeah, I'll be famous. Remember when she uses such she haters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope we got to kind of like talk to each other a little bit more today. And I just overall I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you guys did, hopefully you guys can check me out on Instagram. You guys can always DM me. I respond to everyone. And the way you guys DM me a lot, that makes my day literally. And I love conversating with you guys. So do that. And I read everyone's comments. I try to respond to every single one. Um, and you guys can subscribe. I feel like our little community, our little community, our little following is growing pretty rapidly. Last week I was just at 3,300 and now we're almost at 4,000. So thank you guys so much for everything, truly. I'll see you guys next week. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today?